personal and self-development, right? I'm just gonna touch on this a little bit. Why? Why is this important? We're talking about filmmaking here, but not everyone who picks up a bat is gonna become a professional baseball player. Not everyone who picks up a paintbrush is gonna become an artist or an incredibly creative person, you know, that um, becomes famous through their paintings. No, right? It's the understanding of the style of what you're doing and the effort behind it, right? If there's a tool that you're using, a camera, and you don't put in the creative elements or the effort into the production, you're not gonna create something. So how will we do this? I created three main steps for you guys and seven ways to maximize your potential. Creating a daily routine, right? A healthy daily routine. So often do we unconsciously go throughout our day doing unresourceful activities, binge watching television shows or Netflix series, other time wasters that just aren't resourceful or conducive to the filmmaking process. So what we have to do is not try and take away these things in our life, but rather add in more healthy activities, right? Just simply be mindful of the things that you're doing because what you do every day creates who you are, right? What you do every day creates what you do every week, which creates what you do every month, which creates what you do every year, which creates what you do in this lifetime. So creating a healthy daily routine is incredibly beneficial and for me, that begins with getting up in the morning and meditating, getting in a more resourceful brainwave state because all the things that we're doing throughout the day make us more high strung, take us out of a more calm and relaxed state, right? When you're in a prime learning state or creative state, this is a slow brainwave state, right? The average state that we're in when we're driving, when we're thinking logically instead of creatively, this is a beta wave state. It's a very fast, energetic state of the brain. And when we drop into these lower meditative states, alpha and theta and delta waves, these are the states that are induced in the mind when we are sleeping, when we're calm, when we're relaxed, when we open up to the creativity. So imagine starting your day off with these healthy, resourceful states and ending your days with these healthy, resourceful states. Yeah, you're spending 20 minutes not getting something done when you could be getting to-do list item done, but really in the larger picture is that 20 minutes that you would be spending doing something that's maybe you know this important when if you're getting in a more resourceful state, you go you come to a new realization and you step out of you know a smaller bubble of the day-to-day -day grind and you can see further ahead so it's an incredibly incredibly beneficial tool in your arsenal as a filmmaker part of my daily routine is watching quality content right we need to be inspired we need to see what other people are producing what kind of music is out um, you know, interesting articles about whatever interests you. You know, I like to feel inspired. I like to be around people, read things and see things that make me feel like I wanna create. So, creating that in your daily routine of, you know, taking in content, but not going into a YouTube hole or any other of these kind of, um, you know, energetic technology black holes that we can kind of go into where we, overdo the intake of what we're taking in around us, all right? Do it mindfully. Look every day and see what's out there, get inspired, but don't overdo it. <laughs>